I just think that the universe is so funny sometimes because they will literally send you the most average person for you to fall in love with and then have that person reject you and hurt you so deeply only for the sole purpose of getting you back into alignment with yourself. I mean, isn't that the wildest thing ever? I'm just here reflecting on my SP journey and I realized it was never about him. It was never about him rejecting me or cheating on me or not choosing me. It was all me. I never chose myself. I never loved myself. I was never committed to my own healing or bettering myself. All I cared about was everything outside of me and it showed. It showed in the people that I was attracted to, the things that I was manifesting, the things that I was tolerating. I can't believe that after all the hurt and pain, it was always just about me. It was me versus me. And the craziest part is, I could have learned it sooner. Because I was given intuitive hits and feelings throughout me being in a relationship with this person. But I ignored every single intuitive hit. And then five years later, it was like everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. And I had no choice but to choose me in that moment. Because the hurt and the pain was too much that I think that was when I realized I cannot possibly tolerate this. I always say this, but my SP was my catalyst for growth. I have no hard feelings for him now because he was literally an angel that was sent into my life to shake me to my very core and change the way I view myself and this entire human experience. Can you imagine the task that this soul chose to take up? And now I feel so neutral about my heartbreak and the pain that I went through. I'm literally in Bangkok right now where I got my heart broken two years ago. But now that I feel so neutral about my heartbreak, I'm looking at this from a higher perspective and I'm just in deep gratitude for this journey. I don't see any of it as pain or as regret anymore. I see it as incredible opportunities for my growth. It shaped me into the person I am today and it allowed me to change my self-concept. I sit here today and I thank my ex for hurting me so deeply because I was able to take that pain and alchemize it into love, into power, into who I am today. And if I can do it, you can too. It begins with healing yourself. Most of the time, it's your inner child wound. I have a tapping bundle to heal your inner child for you to get started. And if you're ready to start this journey of completely dismantling your belief system and your self-concept and totally change your life and your identity, get in on that. Okay? I love you. Ask me any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.